Good morning, Mission Control. It's about, what is it, 7 o'clock? 7 a.m., 7.18 a.m. Up early. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's about 37 Fahrenheit. What is that, like 3, three Celsius out? Uh, and today is a huge day. Uh, we are going to be reskinning the building today. Finally came in. The cover has been stuck in customs. Uh, boy, it was a long story just getting it here. Uh, but it's here, that's what matters, and uh, we've got to get it all done in one day. So what we have to do is inside the building there's a bunch of rope that secures the top down, a bunch of ratchets. We need to take that all out, uh, remove the ratchets from the bottom, uh, remove the skin, and then uh, in the skin there's two very long 80 foot bars that we need to pull those out so we can reuse them on the new skin. We need to, uh, we're going to take advantage of the skin being off to have easy access to the side of the building and we're actually going to um, bring some dirt in, some areas that are a little bit low, they settle. We're going to clean those up, we're going to put some gravel down on the outside of the building, um, sorry, on the edges of the grow lanes on lane one and lane four. Uh, right now they're dirt, we're going to get those all covered up with gravel and some uh, geotech fiber, geotech fiber first and then uh, gravel. I need a coffee to kick him still. Uh, at that point, we'll be able to put the new cover on. We'll string it out. Uh, we'll bring it over the top. It'll be kind of a manual job. Uh, I might consider using the tractor, uh, but I'm really kind of against that because a tractor in low gear, even though you're going slow, uh, if you make one mistake, and uh, you can easily tear the building uh, and not even know it. Uh, so we're gonna probably do it by hand with winches and everything and get it over. The cover weighs about 1,200 pounds. Uh, pretty big deal there. What is that, like 500 kilos? Uh, so oh, we got a lot of work to do. I'm really excited. We have to get it all done today though. So I should really stop talking. I just wanna make sure you guys know everything we need to do. Um, Hopefully the sun will be up here shortly. It looks like we're gonna have great weather. God has really blessed us. Thank you to everyone who gave us prayers. Really appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna to have to wait for the, the sun to come up and that'll give us some heat so that we can turn the heater off and de-skin. And then we've gotta get the reskinning done while the temperatures are nice uh, so that we don't lose the crop that's inside, which I think is very doable. Uh, and uh, put it all back in place and uh, secure it before nightfall. So, on that note, uh, I'm actually going to be having to use, because we're going to be going crazy, so I will be using the head mount camera today. Uh, I apologize up front if the video is a little bouncy. I'm also going to try to get some drone shots for you uh, so you can see, but honestly, uh, my number one priority is getting this done, so the video might be a little bit choppy uh, for you, but we'll see if we can't get a good story for you. On that note, i got to get inside and start taking this thing apart. Okay, I just got the first end done, the west side done, it's disconnected, and that took me 40 minutes, exactly 40 minutes. So we'll double that, we'll say it's gonna be 80 minutes to put it all back together. Uh, we'll round it up and say two hours, uh, just to be safe. So take two hours on each end to tighten everything up. That's four hours uh, of just these ends. So I need to keep that in mind, so when darkness and everything starts coming or we start kind of taking breaks and stuff, I know that I got at least four hours worth of work ahead just to put it all back together. And there comes the sun. Whew. We're making progress. Let's just take a quick moment of pause. I just got done with the west side. I'm moving over to the east side and you can see the sun coming up. Um, the heater literally just turned on, off and it's been on for about an hour uh, to get the building heated. Now, what I wanna talk about is the lighting. Notice the light already. See how this is the north side? Just see how dark it is. I mean, that makes sense, right? Uh, for us in the northern hemisphere, the sun sits in the southern uh, horizon during the winter time. Uh, so you expect the north side of the buildings to be uh, much darker. Look at the lighting uh, that's on the south side of the building. Now, the new cover, it's clear. The cover is clear from the top 
all the way down to the side, to the first elbow. That means right now, we would actually be having sunlight coming in, doing two things, right? They would be heating this place so the heater doesn't have to run as long, and it would be bringing in light so we don't need to have as many LEDs. That's why we're going with the new cover. So again, it'll be clear from here all the way down, and then this side and all the other sides are actually gonna be permanently sealed with insulation uh, because there's not much light that comes from the, uh, everything else. So this is just a really cool lighting moment where you can actually see uh, why we're doing this. Right now, all of this stuff here would be really well lit uh, compared to what it is normally with the white cover. So um, this is a major upgrade for us, huge upgrade. Uh, I'm really, if you can't tell, I'm really excited. So I got to stop talking though and get back to work. Well, does it look different in here or what? We just got the skin off. I think that's a Captain Obvious statement. Uh, what we need to do now is fill in some high or some low points and put gravel along the side of each of these lanes uh, on lane one and lane four. And then we'll be ready to pull the new cover into position and start the really hard work, which is the reskinning. 